Boom! What's good, my people? We're back again for another one. This time on a Miss Telex Vlogs app. Welcome to a Miss Telex Vlogs. What's good, my people? We are definitely back again, guys. I know it's been a moment. Trust me, it's been a long, long time. I think over two weeks since I've dropped a video on this year, Mr. Lex Vlog. But we're back again. And with that said, guys, definitely subscribe, turn on that post notifications so you can pretty much get all the videos as they tend to come through right there. And then, guys, also give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate that as well. Now, guys, apparently there was something that took place in the Kulibi Street area, and this is the incident right there. So the person for that. Yeah, no blood, nothing. Not really sure exactly what happened as a result of this situation right there, but in Kulibish to the Batali area they call it, guys, this individual was flung out of his vehicle as he lost control. Unfortunately, when individuals went to look for him, they could not find him. So much to the point where they were looking around, wondering exactly what happened in this predicament. A number of persons were thinking that he went under the vehicle, but he did not go under the vehicle, guys. He was flung out. I was told that he was flung out and he elevated upwards to the tree. I think he broke some branches on the tree above him and then fell to the ground right there. He was taken to the hospital unconscious. That is a heck of a way to have an accident, brothers and sisters. Hopefully, he does pull through. So, prayers goes out for him in this regard as well brothers and sisters take it easy on the road man guys if boy i tell you i was pretty much asking individuals around you know what has happened to him um i haven't gotten a word yet but if you guys know let me know in the comment box below as well now guys i actually saw this picture right there that you've seen right there it's entitled historic grave found on land associated with dominica's international airport site this morning that was a few i think about two weeks ago they found uh, this very uh, gravestone right there, a large gravestone of the former owner of Eden Estate, Joseph James Wells, who apparently died on the 30th of December, 1848, and was heavily covered in secondary forest. This is the area surrounding the airports, guys. Not only that, though, guys, but they've been discovering different things like natural waterways, maybe things that need to be preserved, rivers, different things. I know they actually contacted me for me to do an aerial shot over there. Of course, I don't have my drone. They still have my drone inside there. But um, they have been contacting me and we was talking about swamping areas they want to see where is the swampy area and i'm thinking to myself if you're contacting me for me to be able to fly over to see exactly what the swamping regions look like then why are we building the airport there in the first place we've been discovering a number of things they've been discovering a number of things i've heard from different resources or sources i should say and mark you guys it seems like they've been discovering rivers and streams along the way so this is things that have to be destroyed to make an international airport when it brings back my memory to what uh the uwp team had actually think they actually did the research on the land and found a good way to to build the airport but they neglected it and now they're trying to figure out if they should build an international airport what needs to be done in this particular region i mean this is one of them right there the grave site is one of them they're gonna take out the grave site uh, 1848 grave site i don't know guys what are your thoughts do you think that they should be doing this it seems like they're not properly prepared to build an international airport because i remember i definitely have the emails and everything but they're talking about the swamping regions trying to figure out the swamping regions so they can backfill it and i guess do some stuff there but if it's swampy, I don't, I don't know, but they're building international airport apparently and they've been discovering a number of things there. Some people actually called me in this regard saying what exactly is going on. Places or areas that need to be preserved, they are planning to then uproot these things for them to build an international airport. But why didn't they use the, the previous one in the first place? I don't know guys. What are your thoughts, man? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below in this regard. There's something rather interesting as well as we remember Rosie Douglas. Rosie Douglas is the one seen right there, guys. This is his farewell celebration. I think this is a president that was standing up by him right there. This was about 25 years ago, I believe, when he passed away. And of course, if you notice something, guys, you notice that the flag is a bit different from the normal flags right there. And I think Lennox Honeychurch was explaining something based off the way the colors of the flag are actually associated. And this is actually the color of the flag right there it's yellow black and white if you look at rosie own it's yellow white and black and you don't seem to see the defined stars right there which of course a number of persons were saying they felt like this was pretty much disrespectful to rosie douglas and of course i think lennox honeychett was trying to explain that some flags were outdated and something was changed and whatnot but on the basis of pierre charles own this is pierre charles own right there guys Pierre Charles' own is pretty much that of the same thing of how the Dominica flag was. So if you're saying you're retiring a flag, but yet still Pierre Charles' own was pretty much the same thing right there as the flag of today, then why did they give Rosie Douglas this kind of flag to put on his, his, his thing? So somebody brought this to my attention. I'm like, really? Interesting. Kind of seems like a disrespect when they're using the wrong flags. And I think at that time, 
We're actually talking about using Chinese flags, man. I think this is some sort of disrespect to Rosie, but of course his legacy, let his legacy continue. I don't think Rosie would be very happy of what is taking place in Dominica today. Uh, what are your thoughts, man? Do you think he's very happy about what is taking place? Or considering the very flag that was placed on him is not really the flag of Dominica. It seems like there's a bit of a change when he comes on to that flag right there, guys. What are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below in this regard right there. However, guys, I must make mention of something rather interesting. Apparently, we have another passport scandal, brothers and sisters. So this information is brought about by Mass in the Cemetery. Of course, this is a blog of uh, rather interesting things that seems to be taking place uh, beyond the public's eye. Of course, this was written in September 29, 2021. And of course, it's entitled Another Passport Scandal, Turkish Citizen Renew Dominican Passport After Interpol Red Alert and, of course, Arrest. It's interesting that this is the passport right there, brothers and sisters. Let me see if I can zoom it on, on it for you guys. This is the individual that you've seen right there, guys. His name, everything. I think they cross out his, his um, passport thing. But, of course, this is what they're saying right there, guys. Of course, during the mayor hole, Chusky, this is one of the in incidents actually uh, was covering for a number of organizations when he was in Dominica, of course, brought to Dominica. Whether it's by... Well, let me leave that there. But anyways, during the Melchowski's kidnapping, an extra rendition saga in Dominica, defenders of the PM I'm scared, and his administration argued that the Dominican government has a moral responsibility to send Mehul Chosky back to India to answer to his allegations of crime of racketeering. The argument posed by Scarry's defenders had nothing to do with morality or crime fighting, but an attempt to cover up the shameful conduct of the Prime Minister and his administration. By all indications, the government of Dominica had collaborated with criminals to kidnap and torture Amchowski and transport him from Antigua into Dominica where he would have possibly placed uh, or possibly be placed on a chartered plane uh, directly to India. We found it actually strange. Why did the plane just come from India? Like about a few days after Chosky was discovered. And mark you guys, something actually went wrong. We heard that the plane had to come in earlier, but it came late. And as a result, things just started falling apart right there. Now we actually have this individual. Anyways, guys, continue this thing. Let us now see how this very same Brother Scarrow defenders contort with this new revelation. Sometime in February 2019, the Turkish, um, Turkish government made a request to the government of Dominica for cancellation of a Dominica passport held by a, a Turkish citizen named Yasam Ayavi. Yes, I know his grandmother. But anyways, Yasam the individual himself has been widely known as an accused illegal betting and gambling baron, an individual. Many reporting agencies out of Turkey have linked Yasam as head of an organized crime syndicate and that in February 2019, Yasam, who was being sought with an Interpol red bulletin for illegal internet gambling, was wanted by the Turkish authority. In one report, it states that uh, gambling baron Hayat's illegal gambling and betting sites, Betmatic and Tipo Bet 365, that have devastated citizens. They're talking about the Turkish citizens right there. The gambling baron lives a luxurious life with millions made through these sites. Guys, why are you gambling? I don't... Why? I understand sometimes it's your money. But if you're gambling, I feel like you're losing... You, that is you and your choice. Eh? You're losing your own money. Eh? That is your choice. But anyways, that is not the point right there. The gambling baron has 2.2 million uh, followers on Instagram. Yasam was eventually arrested in Greece and extradited to Turkey. And of course, you guys can pretty much read the whole thing right there. So he was apparently arrested right there. We spoke to a few international investigation journalists requesting information on Dominica's CBI program and the credibility of a due to due diligence process. I was telling people about this very thing. There seems to be due process in truth. But when it comes down to other individuals, they don't seem to have due process at all. So some people get due process, while others seem to be going under the table for a number of reasons. I can think of... Ali Reza Monfared, I can think of Maduke, I can think of a number of individuals who actually had a number of questionable things or involvement when it comes down to the country, yet still they still got Dominican passports or diplomatic passports in this regard. Al Jazeera actually did a full story on that very same situation that seems to connect Dominica, Dominica diplomatic passports to an individual who is in jail right now. And it's really interesting. On the other side, why did they hide the individual who was trying to escape from, from his, his, his dirty ways in his country and hiding in Dominica in Mont Daniel itself? He was hiding in Mont Daniel the police in boy tell you anyways guys with all i said while the cbi program offers requited benefit to both the applicant and to the issuing country dominica is the issuing country the individual receiving the citizen uh citizenship certificate is in fact receiving an honor and the government of the issuing country should have the right to rescind that honor and citizenship 
when the individual brings the name of the country into disrepute. Anyways, guys, you can continue reading the whole thing right there in this regard, but we go down lower. As far as we know it, this is what the writer is saying. Yassam had not been slated to become a stateless, uh, uh, to become stateless had the government of Dominica abrogated his citizenship when it was requested by the Turkish law enforcement. The government of Dominica should now explain to us why an accused gambling baron arrested by Interpol was able to have his passport renewed even after the accused international criminal had been arrested by Interpol. But then again, what do we expect from a government operating as a criminal enterprise? This is what the, the, the writer is pretty much saying. And of course, you can read the rest of this thing. That's a good question to ask. Why did you renew a passport knowing that an individual is a criminal in a country? I understand if the passport expires or whatever. You, okay, bow. Why are you renewing it when it comes down to this situation, especially knowing that Interpol is looking for that guy, but yet still we're trying to play. <laughs> we're trying to play as if we are judge, jury, and executioner for Mel Trotsky. We're trying to play that. And this is another one. September 29th, this was written. Really? Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts on this whole situation? Do you think that maybe by nah Dominica government didn't know about this? We didn't know Dominica government didn't know about this and you know they decided to, you know, to 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 renew the passports and everything. Police apparently didn't know this. The police I think is in charge of renewing passports, maybe passing on the, the thing and whatnot. I don't know. But um I, when it comes down to passports, is there I just go by for me to renew passports and, and, and things. So uh, that's why I'm associating them. But um what are your thoughts, guys? Well, this is CBI, so I think this is a different a uh, type of, of thing right there uh, involving outside sources of course you know this <laughs> i was going to say something about the international airport and monies and all those kind of things there of people dealing monies offshore and all this anyways guys what are your thoughts man what are your thoughts leave your thoughts in the comment box below this is pretty much all about for this year vlogs i just had to bring this out there to you another individual <sighs> let me see if i can let me scroll up and see if i can see when was this renewed uh 23rd september so it seems like it's going to 20, uh, 2020, so 2030. So it was renewed in 20, 2020, 2020, and it goes up to 10 years, 2030. 25th November 2020 to 24th November 2030. Interesting. So that was last year. Well, I guess it come out now. What are your thoughts, guys? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. This is pretty much all about for this year, Mr. Lex Vlogs. Definitely give this video a thumbs up, guys. I would appreciate that. And subscribe and turn on that post notifications so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through right there. And then I made this video in the night, but I'm dropping it this morning. Um, so you guys can definitely check it out. And of course, with that said, guys, be real. Tell you wicked at people them stop their dirty ways. I don't know. We have I don't know. Even that's during the whole Rona situation, all that happened. <laughs> Boy, didn't the country, wasn't the country shut down there during that time? So how did he, I don't know. Guys, let me know your thoughts <laughs> in the comment box below. And of course, be real, be positive, and with the most size of us, always guys, definitely stay prayed up. Welcome to Amnesty Alex Vlogs. One day I will blow Wow! This life is a constant uphill battle But it's also filled with some beautiful moments